So, here we have a triangle ABC. Let's draw a line from one vertex, to the midpoint of its opposite side. This line is called, median. There are two more medians, one from vertex B, and another from vertex C. These three medians, always meet at a single point. We call this point, centroid. The centroid of a triangle has interesting properties. For example, all six of these small triangles have the same area. This is closely related to the fact, that centroid is also known as, center of mass, or center of gravity. Imagine, that this triangle is cut, from a thin metal plate. Then, try to balance this triangle, on a single point, like a pencil tip. I mean, assuming you have nothing better to do. Of course, it's not gonna be easy. But let's say after many tries, for one magical moment, you managed to keep the triangle, perfectly balanced on top of the pencil tip. Well, congratulations. You just found the triangle's center of mass. Or simply, centroid. So, the centroid is located at a point, where the three medians intersect. Interestingly, centroid is exactly two-thirds of the way from each vertex along its median. Okay, enough with the centroid then. Let's try something different, and draw a perpendicular bisector of one side of a triangle. Again, there are three perpendicular bisectors for any triangle. These three perpendicular bisectors, also meet at a single point, which we call, circumcenter. The circumcenter, also has an interesting property. Let's draw, three lines from the circumcenter, to the vertices of the triangle. Then, these three line segments must have the same length. But why? You can pause the video and think about it for a moment. First, let's look at the small triangle here. Can you see that this triangle is an isosceles? Yes, its perpendicular bisector from the base, hits the opposite vertex, which is a well-known property of isosceles triangle. Therefore, these two line segments are congruent. Similarly, this green triangle must be isosceles for the exact same reason. So, these two line segments are also congruent. Therefore, all three of these lines from the circumcenter are congruent, and that's our proof. Now, can you see that these three lines are in fact, radiuses of a circle, that passes through all three of the triangle vertices? This circle is called, circumscribed circle, or simply, circumcircle. And that's where the name circumcenter came from, because it is, the center of the circumcircle. Okay, moving on. This time, let's draw, angle bisector of an angle. And of course, there are two more angle bisectors. Do these three angle bisectors also meet at a single point? Of course they do. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about it, would we? Anyway, this intersection point here, is called, N center. The N center, is equally interesting. Let's draw, perpendicular lines from N center, to each side of triangle. Then, these three perpendicular lines must have the same length. Can you prove it? First of all, we can show that these two corner triangles are congruent, using, angle, angle, side, congruence. Therefore, these two line segments are congruent. Similarly, these two green triangles must be congruent as well, and so are these two line segments. Therefore, these three perpendicular line segments from in center, must have the same length. Now, do you see that these three lines are, radiuses of a circle, sitting inside the triangle, tightly bounded by all three sides? This circle is called, inscribed circle, or simply, encircle. And that, is why this point is called, in center, because it is the center of the encircle. 
Okay, so, you would think that we must have covered all possible triangle centers out there, right? Well, not so fast. How about we draw a perpendicular line from one vertex to its base, meaning its opposite side. This line is called, altitude. Again, there are three altitudes in a triangle. And of course, these three altitudes also meet at a single point. I mean, why wouldn't they? This intersection point is called, orthocenter. Why is it called, orthocenter? Because it is a center of the three lines that are orthogonal to the bases. Here, orthogonal, simply means perpendicular. Alright. Let's summarize. The three medians of a triangle, meet at a single point, and this point is called, centroid. Next, the three perpendicular bisectors of a triangle, also meet at a single point, and this point is called, circumcenter. And, the three angle bisectors of a triangle, also meet at a single point, and this point is called, n-center. Finally, the three altitudes of a triangle, should meet at a single point, and this point is called, orthocenter. So, what do you think? Confusing? Don't worry. You can always replay this video again. And again. And again. And again. And again.